Hello friends and fam, and welcome to one of my first unboxings for Fandom Frontier. Um, I guess I'm your only host today, Handsome Dave. Uh, the only reason why Devin isn't here is because I got really impatient and I just got these and I'm very, very excited to open them, so I decided to share with you. Um, so as you all know, Devin and I are from Hamilton, uh, and there's this little store in Hamilton that I absolutely love called Cabinet of Curiosities. Uh, for the holidays this year, they've decided to do um, Cabinet of Curiosity mystery boxes. And I'm a good, I'm a huge sucker for mystery boxes. I absolutely love them. Um, so they've decided to do three specific ones. Now, if you don't know also what Cabinet of Curiosities is, uh, it's a very unique store. They do uh, taxidermied animals and like the weird kind of taxidermy animals. Uh, they have fossils, they have skulls, bones, skeletons, creepy dolls from Victoria, Victorian era. Um, like all that natural, like medical, like old school medical stuff, everything like that. It's very cool. Some of their stuff are actually featured in what we do in the shadows. Um, some of the stuff has actually been featured in several movies. We have Nightmare Alley coming out here. Um, that was actually a lot of their stuff was featured in the movie, which is absolutely amazing. And their stuff is so cool. It's absolutely really cool. Um, so I will actually link their Instagram as well as their website uh, in the description below. So please check them out. Uh, they are absolutely amazing. So in the uh, festive spirit, I decided to wear my Krampus Christmas sweater today, uh, or cardigan, sorry. And uh, I decided to open some mystery boxes. Also, I'm not sure if you guys know this. Um, when I filmed this, I just went and saw Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, I'm not sick. I just lost my voice from yelling at the screen because it's an amazing movie. I won't spoil it, but like, go see Spider-Man No Way Home. Like, holy shit. So as I was saying, there are three different types of boxes. Uh, you have your natural history, your witchcraft, and your death box. Now, the first time I discovered these, they had, uh, they only had the witch and the natural history. So I grabbed one of the witchcraft ones. Very cool stuff, uh, really excited. So that's when I got the idea, let's do an unboxing with them. So today, I ended up getting the natural history. I got the witchcraft. And as I was there, they were just putting these together, so I was actually able to scoop up the death box. So I'm actually really excited to see what's in this one, so we're gonna save this one for last. Now, some of you might think this is very weird. I get excited for this kind of stuff. Um, to each his own. Um, I don't know what's in these boxes. Again, it's a mystery box. Um, so we're gonna open these together and we're gonna find out. There's gonna be some really cool shit. There's gonna be some really weird shit. I don't know what's in the natural history box, so I'm very excited, so let's dive in. So just letting you know too, all of these boxes are actually only $25. And you get some pretty cool stuff. So let's find out what's in here. <laughs> cool. So this, this is really interesting. I've actually wanted one of these. This is fossilized copper light. And you may think this might look like shit because it is shit. It is actually dinosaur shit. And I'm really excited I have this now. I know, I've never been so excited to have shit before. So Coprolite, fossilized dinosaur poo from the Jurassic area, 200 million years old. Uh, and it basically goes into the general, it doesn't unfortunately tell you what kind of dinosaur, which is kind of sad, but I have dinosaur poo. That was well worth $25 as is. I know that's really weird to say. Oh, nice. Oh, I've always wanted some of these. So these are African crested porcupine quills. I've actually always really wanted porcupine quills and I've never pulled the trigger. They're very inexpensive. I don't know why I haven't bought them before, but yeah, these are, they're very sharp, uh, very sturdy. Like I, you funny when you, when you see porcupine quills, you're just like, oh, that's nothing. Like I would hate to get these in me. These, these suck. Like either end of these, these are sharp. Like, I'm pretty sure these are the ends that go in the porcupine and these are the ones that go in you. But, holy shit, I would not want these in me. Fossils for me, like, if you know me as a kid, I fucking love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are awesome. I still love dinosaurs. I'm in my 30s and I love dinosaurs. But this shit is, not literally, because I got shit, is fucking cool. Oh. So, these little baggies contain little, little gemstones. Actually, very, very beautiful. I recently got into crystals and gems, like I'm not huge into it, but I still think they're pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that'll look, that'll look really nice on my little cabinet of curiosity shelf I've got going on downstairs. 
cone seashell. These are beautiful. My family's from the East Coast, so like I love seashells. They're just gorgeous. Um, I don't know why I don't have any in my house. That's so weird, but now I do. Oh, this is beautiful. It's actually all intact too. Love that. This is cool. So it looks like I got a fragment from an Ammonite and it's for spiritual insight. That is really cool. These also help with re-entry from traveling to the astral planes as well as grounding. Ammonites believe to strengthen one's will to live and instill a finer appreciation for life and living to its fullest. Is it ironic that it's also a dead creature and it fulfills me to live? I think that's hilarious. I also didn't know this, and these cards are really cool. I love these cards. Super handy. <clears throat> you get a lot of stuff in here for $25. Like, that's worth it. Whoa! Jackpot, baby! Okay, I'm gonna get as close as I can to the screen. This is really cool. This is this is what I live for. And again, if you know me as a kid, you know that this is my jam. So they gave me a bunch of fossilized seashells. And there's some really beautiful ones here. Like there's the shell here. There's like a full one here. Hi, Kenny. These are so cool. This is amazing. Holy shit. Um, also, again, if you've known me as a kid, this is this is really funny. Wow, I love them. My hair is cr crazy for this. Um, I've eaten crickets as a kid. Doesn't bother me. If you, you have to do it, you have to survive. I got Olipop cricket. So there's a cricket in there. And I'm going to eat this at some point. Or maybe I'll make Devin do it. I'll make Devin do it. Insect aside. Insect aside. Inside. Sucker is what it's called. And this is fun. There's certain people I can't wear this around. I got a Blackfoot beetle. But it looks like a spider. Um, a bracelet. With an actual... Taxidermy, or not taxidermy, but uh, solidified spider in there. That's really cool. Certain people I can't wear that around because they're terrified of spiders, but that's okay. And of course, every every one of these is really cool. It comes with um, an air freshener. Uh, this one is black ice. That's actually the same one I got last time. This really cool Cabinet of Curiosity sticker and a uh, Cabinet of Curiosities pin. That was really cool. I really like that. That was uh, so that was just a natural history box. Um, we're about to uh, dive into the witchcraft one. All right. Ooh. Oh, cool. Okay. <coughs> So first thing out of the box, this is really cool. I got one of these last time and it was a sea dragon scale. But this, I don't know what this is, so I have to look it up. It looks like it is Polynesian. Um, oh, looks like a mushroom almost. Oh yeah, here it is. The back, oh, I shouldn't be holding this right now. <laughs> Fuck. It is a baculum. A raccoon penis bone. In hoodoo and folk magic of South America, the raccoon baculum is worn as an amulet for love or luck. Well, considering I don't have either, let's just keep this handy, I guess. Um, I got a raccoon penis. Neat. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. So I got another... This one's actually a really nice one. Oh, wow, it's chalky too. I like this. I got another really interesting Ammonite. I really like this one. This is this is beautiful. There's actually like beautiful textures on it and everything too. I'm a fan. Of course, any witch box, you need to have White Sage. White Sage, I can't stress enough. Um, as someone who believes in the occult and the supernatural and the paranormal and just everything that goes with it white sage is always a great great simple fix for everything um it's great for purifying your house um recently i came into possession of a haunted doll not like 
actively haunted, like, but still very haunted enough, enough to like bother the animals, and that was pretty cool. I felt terrible for them, but White Sage is really helpful. And oh, I got incense sticks, Gothic Rose. They know I was a closet goth growing up. Not really closet goth, I was pretty openly goth. Oh, these are so cool. I got tiny little mouse bones. Oh, I love that. That is so fucking cool. I've always wanted a jar of like little bones or teeth or something like that. Just because these are these are these look really cool. These look really cool on display too. So let's find out what's in here. Oh, I think this is more fossils. Oh, I'm gonna get more fossils. Fuck yeah! That's right, kids. Daddy got more fossils. I love fossils. Fossils are cool. I like that this was in a witchcraft box. This is really cool. And then, as always, guys, we got our pin. We got our air freshener. And we got a really cool sticker. Raccoon penis. Okay, guys. Last one. The death box. I don't know what's in here. Super excited to find out. Love that it's called the death box. So, um, yeah. Let's dive in. Ooh. This is interesting. I don't exactly know what this is. I mean, I know it's a cross, duh. But it's like a bedazzled one. It's not an earring or anything. There's no magnet or clips or just a little cross. Kind of, kind of eerie, actually. I like that. In memoriam. In Wellington, Monday, February 26, 1977. Oh my God, this is someone's funeral card. Oh. That is cool. It feels like a reprint, but that is so cool. Oh, I know why it's a reprint. Oh, that's cool. This isn't a card, because it's a photo of the person that passed away. This is what they have at the funeral. Oh, that's fucking cool. Oh, so that's that's going on the shelf. That is totally going on the shelf. Oh, I don't know if these are coffin spikes or not, but these might be coffin spikes. I always wanted a set of these. These are cool. Yeah, these look like, these seriously look like coffin spikes. Oh, I really wanted a set of these too. That is so cool. Is this a tooth? It looks like a tooth. It looks like an animal's tooth. Oh no, that's a person's tooth. Oh, that's a person's tooth. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is so cool. That is that is a tooth and the root ripped right out of someone. Not like a recent one, but like this is aged. But that is that is a human tooth. That is so cool. Black heart, set of 10 bath bombs. The sweet smell of darkness. Wow, this is really tickling my fancy for only goth side. So yeah, I have bath bombs now. That's cool. So we got a pin. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of creepy. Wow. It's very old. I know we bring this up a lot on here. Um, this kind of reminds me of Michael Walsh's silver coin. Like this looks like a coin almost, but it's not a coin. That's what it is. Almost looks like a brooch or a pin that you put on a body. That is cool. That is going up on the shelf. And guys, seriously, check out the Cabinet of Curiosities here in Hamilton. I can't stress it enough. Super cool people there. Very friendly, very helpful. A lot of them are artists too, and a lot of them do the, the wet specimens and a lot of the taxidermy there themselves. A lot of it is really cool. Still have my eye out looking for a jackalope or a monkey paw because that's something I've always wanted. You know, it's a little morbid. To you, not to me, I love that ship. 
So there you have it guys, seriously, as I, as I literally just said, check out Cabinet of Curiosities. Um, these boxes are on sale for the holidays. Um, they are absolutely amazing. I, I love them. Again, they're only $25, and I think I got my $25 worth. The, that death box was super cool. Uh, that photo of that woman was amazing. Um, again, both of, like all three of them have been absolutely incredible. Can't stress it enough. Support local, support Cabinet of Curiosities, and uh, if not, just check them out. Like, go to their website um, before we even lock down because we're kind of heading that way. Check out their store. Their store is awesome. Um, yeah, like I said, all the links below to so the website and Instagram will be below. Like and follow us at Fandom Frontier. And as always, guys, stay handsome.